Oh, look at that juicy Pentax meteorite. I always love it when you get to that point in the game where you can bring your mining vessel up to the moon and start mining meteorites, because that's when you really start getting the juicy, the juicy ores. Yeah, I, I definitely want to get a gravity generator going on here. Um, we could try my my little my little idea to see if the reason we can't make that graph generator is because of the output size. Oh, the <laughs> the miner's already done. Well, what the hell? Since it's done. I know, I keep getting sidetracked. I keep saying we're going to the moon and then something else happens. It's just the way it goes. Okay, let's spawn this guy in. Okay, so... How much CPU does it currently have? Four thousand. Okay, so it has almost a, another thousand CPU, even just at tier one. So what would happen then if we remove, uh, uh, well, let's see, let's connect to output and I want to pull the, the lasers, um, out of the horizon. Let's take the mechanicals off. Um, let's put the symmetry plane on. And then we'll fit the lasers. Come on, get in there. Probably should have put the bottom one in first, huh? Oh, those are sticking out too far, too. Yeah, it's always kind of a bit of a pain in the ass to get the drills in, because they got to go all the way in. Okay, so let's do this from the bottom up. That one's all the way back. That one's all the way back. There we go. All right, so turn this off. Now let's see where we're at. Really? That did... So so the lasers have the same CPU as the mechanicals? I assumed that they didn't. They sure do. Yeah, these have 200 CPU. And the lasers have 200 CPU. How about that? Okay, cool. Well, that worked out. Let's, um, let's paint these. So we'll make those green and these brown. There we go. All right. Well, this guy's going to need um, a little bit of uh, 15 mil ammo. So for the turret, let's go to the base ammo box and... Are we using cannons on the base? I think we are, aren't we? Yeah, we're using cannons on the base. I don't think I have any miniguns set up. So we can actually take all of that ammo. Uh, yeah, we can take all of these here. So let's go to the camo miner and throw those in. So we have some ammunition. Uh, we're going to need some fuel in here. So we'll go to fuel and grab the fuel out of the overflow and fill that up plus we got more fuel on the capital vessel if needed to okay let's get out of there go into here 
regroup everything and uh, save this to template. And really, you know, again, this vessel, I mean, we arguably don't even really need the minigun on it because it's always going to be next to the capital vessel, pretty much. And, you know, maybe this will serve its purpose and this is all we really need for a mining hover vessel. Uh, what am I doing? I am... Oh, I'm going to just back it up in the blueprint shop, too. Uh, so let's go... to do, 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 Hover. Um, maybe what we'll do is... Yeah, we'll miner. We'll call this version 2.0. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now she's saved. Okay, cool. Um, let's jump in. And we want to turn this off. No, you know what we want to do? We want to create a custom switch for... Uh, we'll just call this turret. And let's go here. And let's make a new group. We'll call this top turret let's move the turret into the top turret group uh, add to group top turret and then assign the turret switch to that so that way we can turn the top turret off without turning the mining turrets off but you know for putting it on the ship though we can actually turn all of them off Just so we have a, whoops, have a little bit more room. Okay. What? There we go. No point in keeping the power on in this guy. I don't even think this has a fridge anyways, or does it? Let's take a look. It does not, but it doesn't need one. Cool. All right, we're making good progress, guys. We're oh, yeah, I gotta be careful of that. <laughs> I gotta be careful of that. I forgot. If you can pull in too far, then you can't get up the elevator. Let's um. more of that. Okay, that looks like that's all of our pentaxa, but that's a that's a pretty decent amount uh, for the moment. I think we're ready to go, finally. After all that screwing around. Here we go. Thrusters are on. All systems go. 3, 2, 1, blast off. And here we go. Up to the moon. One thing I didn't actually do is load all my cannons, preload them. I should probably do that. But there she is. We've got a functional T2 horizon. I think it'll work out pretty good for now. Um, we will, we will, you know, make the effort to take her up to tier three, of course. Uh, it'll be worth it because it's still going to be a while before we can bring the black light in. That ship is so damned expensive. Uh, but I don't, I, I won't take this to tier four. I don't, I doubt I would do that. There's just not really much reason to. Okay, we gotta find the moon, and we have to be careful of the of the destroyer that's up here. So it looks like the moon's this way, and of course it's on the other side of the planet. Naturally, let's make sure we got a good heading going here, and then we'll turn our inertials off and drift. Okay, cool. You know, actually. Why don't we stop for a minute so I can get the, the guns loaded in case we run into a space drone or something. I mean, a space drone's not going to hurt us because we have our shield on, but I'd rather be ready to go uh, in spite of that. So let's go here. Everybody's loaded up. We're all set to just NPC factions and all that's good for now. Okay. The moon should be right on the other side of the planet and then down, I think. Let's look at our 
Oh, no, 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 it's up. I'm glad I checked. <laughs> it's actually up. That's even better. Okay, we are at max speed. Let's go ahead and drift on into the moon. I just realized something. We don't have a detector on this ship. <laughs> what the hell? How could we not have a detector on this ship? Oh, that's that's funny. Um, let's go. <laughs> let's let's make one here. Uh, so we're gonna go into uh, constructor and capital vessel and yeah. Oh, we need titanium plates for that. Oh, shit. I mean, we have those back at the base, can, but we apparently don't have enough to make them here. All right, well, I guess we're going detectorless. I can't believe I I didn't. <laughs> I completely just overlooked that. Oh, well. We've got shields and we've got guns, so if something surprises us, we should at the very least be able to get away from that something. How funny is that, though, man? Can't remember everything, especially me because I'm old. I forget shit all the time. Um, hmm. I don't know if we'll have any any existing meteorites on here or not. We might have to just drive around to find them. Okay, let's level out here and take a look, see. Yeah, I think what we're just going to have to do is is a fly around a bit until a meteorite comes in. And I believe we should only get Promethium and Pentaxid meteorites on the moon. Because I haven't mined out any other resources. I don't think I have. Iron. Oh, we might get a Magnesium too, which actually wouldn't be bad. We could use Magnesium as well. So we'll just fly around a bit. Until, oh, there's a POI. Kind of sucks that we don't have our detector. Wait, no, that's a wrecked ship. That's like the wrecked uh, Titan. Okay, there might be a couple drones around, but our guns should take care of them if there are. So yeah, anyway, we'll just fly around until we get the notification that a meteorite's coming in. Well, we've made one full circle around the moon and no meteorite yet. So maybe what we'll do is... I don't want to mine out those deposits because I want to keep the moon pretty much exclusively for uh, Promethium and Pentaxid and, well, and Magnesium. So maybe what we could do while we're waiting is we could salvage a little bit on some of these ships here. Oh, you know what? We never actually looted that drone, did we? So I'm going to just stay up here and do some salvaging on these two, on the crash DSE ship, while I wait for a meteorite to, uh, to spawn in. I just got the message that we have, have a meteorite coming in. Um, I was trying to get set up for salvaging the DSE here. Uh, one of the things that I did was I, I went ahead and just took my armor back off because there's no point in wearing this inside the ship since everything's pressurized. Um, and I ended up making a, a set of, of light armor too. Um, but I don't even really need that because... Um, here, let's put that there. As long as we stay inside the ship, um, we don't even need that. It, it kind of that kind of occurred to me after I had already started making it. Let's put that back on there. But yeah, this this has a food consumption rate of 2.5. Uh, really, really bad. 
when you play, you know, on the hard setting with the, when your food drops fast anyway. So we don't want to wear this any more than we absolutely have to. Uh, so as long as we stay inside of our vessel, uh, we don't need to wear any armor. So let's go ahead and see if we can find this meteorite, because, I mean, my, that's our main goal. I, I was only going to, you know, salvage the DSC while we're waiting for the meteorite. Um, so we just got to figure out where it landed. Shouldn't be too hard to find, and hopefully it'll be either a pentaxid or a promethium. However, we certainly could use some magnesium, too, so I'll, I'll take all three. But I'd like, you know, probably promethium the most at this point. So let's just fly around and see if we can figure out where... Okay, so it looks like it's over that way. That was quick. Just got to figure out which one it is. One of the things I was hoping to get is enough titanium by salvaging that you know to um, make that detector but we can always do that when we get home because we, we should have plenty of titanium at home to do that so let's see what this is um, do I have um, yeah I've got night vision how come it's not activating A second. Oh, because I don't have armor on. Ah, uh, all right. Well, whatever. Let's not worry about that right now. Night vision is actually quite useful. Okay, that's pentaxid. Beautiful. Uh, quite useful, you know, when you're on the dark side of the moon. Your night vision goggles are. So let's go ahead and set her down. Maybe we'll turn this way. Looks like we've got the enemy radar station and something else over there. But our gun should should protect us from any drones coming in, so I'm not too worried about that. We do want to sort of make sure we're level-ish here. Just so we don't have any trouble getting the mining vessel in and out. That should work. Okay, so let's cut the thrusters. Um out and let's go mine up some pentaxid here wait I thought we were pressurized in here oh hold on a sec what the hell oxygen is on oh you know what I bet you I need to put do I need to put a ventilator back here? I probably do, now that I think about it. Yeah, there is no O2 in this bay. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just put our... This suit on for now. Just so we have our helmets to breathe. Um, but I'm not going to actually go outside. It's probably colder than shit in here, though, too, isn't it? No, it's not cold. It's just no O2. Okay. Getting hung up on something. Alright. Let's put these up. Just in case the drone comes from the other direction. And we might as well also load it. Okay, we have a detector on here. So there's just one cannon drone over there, so I, I doubt we're going to get harassed by drones. We might, but if we do, between this turret and the ones on the capital vessel, we'll make short work of them. Oh, look at that juicy pentaxid meteorite. I always love it when you get to that point in the game where you can bring your mining vessel up to the moon and start mining meteorites, because that's when you really start getting the juicy, the juicy ores. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on a second. Um, we have a power problem, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, what if we... 
think we can turn this back on as long as we're not running the lasers. What if we disable two of the lasers? Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Um, all right, so let's go here. This is just a temporary fix until I can um, fix it proper. Uh, where are... I'm having a, a senior moment. Here they are. Oh, yeah, they were under harvest. So let's just disable two and see what happens. Oh, we're still, like, way, way over. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe that's why we should have left the mechanical drills out here. Um, remember, this was built two or three alphas ago, so at that point, you know, we didn't have to worry about overloaded generators and that sort of thing. Let's turn off two more. Now what's it going to do? Oh, it's still, like... Wait, 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 wait. Didn't I just turn those off? That's deactivated, that's deactivated, but these two... It's not doing it one at a time. Weird. Okay, well, then let's, um, let's create a group. Um, we'll call this laser drill, laser drill, uh, one. And let's move half of the drills into laser drill one. And let's deactivate that group. There we go. That's much better at, on the Ginny. In fact, it's not affecting the generator at all. What? What the hell? Is it like an all or nothing kind of thing? Here, let's try this. Let's go back to here. Let's move one of these back into the main group. Oh, good. We got another meteorite coming in. Uh, into the turret group. No, not the turret group. The harvest group. Now what happens? Uh, go here. I would set up custom switches if I was going to do this permanently, but this is just to get us by for now. That should just pull those two in. Yeah, that's having no effect on the generator either, so it's, it almost looks like it's an all or nothing thing. Okay, let's move a fifth one back over. That's really weird, though. You'd think it would be, you know, progressive. Uh... Add to last group. Okay, so now we have five. Turn those on. But then go back and turn this one off. I don't know why it wasn't letting me turn just one off. Yep, it's still not affecting the generator. But if we add the sixth one, it does. I guess. That's so weird. All right, well, we'll just work with five drills until I can do something to fix that. Um, you know, like add another generator, I guess, is what we'll have to do. That just seems really weird, though. Okay, well, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and mine this all the way up. And then when it's done, uh, we'll go take a look and see what the next meteorite is. Hopefully it'll be a Prometheum rock. Uh, but like I said, we'll take Magnesium, too. And then... Uh, I'll bring you back at some point and we'll, uh, with an update, and we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. All right, guys. We have uh, a mag meteorite, and we have another uh, pentaxid meteorite over here that I've got bookmarked. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the mag now, and then if we don't get a new meteorite coming in, 
I think that's the pentaxid one over that way. Yeah. Um, then we'll then we'll go get the the other pentaxid as well. Made a couple more changes to the ship too. Let's turn the thrusters off here. Uh, so what I did was I pulled up the ventilator that was here and I ended up putting it right here so that now we have a pressurized uh, docking bay uh, both up up above and down below. Um, so I had to make a couple of changes to the exterior of the ship uh, to get that to work too but now it's working and so uh, what I might end up doing here is putting another medical bay down but configured as one of the other medical stations types. Um, so yeah, that's that's taken care of. So we fixed that issue. All right, let's go ahead and jump in our miner. And oh, the other thing I was going to show you is that we came away with um, 349 pentaxid from that one meteorite, which is pretty nice. Uh, we might let's do let's also excuse me let's make some more let's just transfer all of that over to the fact um, all of that can really go over there I suppose and let's um make uh, start making some more pentax I'd like to have enough to at least fill up our our tank so we want to go back to here and here and currently we have 425 so we could probably put two more stacks in I'm thinking uh, plus you know whatever else that needs all right so let's go back to here and we want to go here and we're just gonna do Let's do two more stacks and then like maybe 10 more. Okay, and that should fill up our, our Pentaxa tank. Let's do a squirt here of our detector since it's the only one I have at the moment. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. I just assumed it had one, you know, because it's such a basic common device. Um, and it didn't. Maybe it. It probably actually did, and I, I probably took it off when I was refitting and just forgot to put it back on, most likely. I don't remember for sure, but I think that's what happened. Okay, so let's turn all of these on. But then we need to go... Oh, for Pete's sake. Let's go back here for a second. Um, you. We want to turn all of this stuff off here. Now it shouldn't shoot at the base, but it'll still shoot at drones. Okay. And then we need to go to our... to this group and just disable the one turret. It's just really weird that it's just the one that's not working. Okay. So, let's get ourselves some... Uh, nice little supply of magnesium. And then, like I said, hopefully... By the time we're done mining this out, we will get a Promethean meteorite landing. 